Let's start by adding the Golden Gate Bridge video clip to the project. Click Add Media from Files or Folders, navigate to the Stock Footage directory, and choose the Golden Gate Bridge.avi file. After we've added that one to the project, let's go ahead and add ProjectorRoom.mov to our project. Click Add Media from Files or Folders, and navigate up to the Home Movie Essentials Volume 1 folder. Make sure and select ProjectorRoom.mov. Now we need to go ahead and drag Golden Gate Bridge down to Video 1 in the timeline. And once it snaps into place, let's go ahead and drag ProjectorRoom.mov down to Video 2. You'll see once you drop it on Video 2 that it doesn't completely fill up the timeline. So let's go ahead and drag it down two more times so that it matches the Golden Gate Bridge clip. Now after dragging down the third and final one, you need to drag the edge of the last clip to meet the edge of the Golden Gate Bridge clip in Video 1. And it will snap into place. Now we need to click the Golden Gate Bridge clip and resize and position it. So go ahead and click the Motion Properties menu. And let's cascade down our uh, size directions. And let's drag the resize handles to resize and position the Golden Gate Bridge video. Go ahead and click in the frame and then drag it into a center position where the projector room is showing in the black area. And once you get it just right, let's go ahead and play our video to see the results.